Hello. Today I will show you how I added a 2D animated face to my 3D character in Blender and animated the character's face in Godot 4 so that the 3D low poly character could show emotion and expressions. First, we will open the character in Blender and we'll select the faces where the character's eyes and mouth will be. We will press Shift plus D to duplicate them. I will select the faces I want to separate, right click, hover over separate, and select selection. I ended up merging them into one piece for the face to texture it. We will give the face a material. We will press U to unwrap it. We will select Smart UV Project. Go to the Shading tab, click Add, and then search for Image Texture. Plug its color into base color of principled BSDF and its alpha into the principal BSDF's alpha. We will call it face and set its alpha to zero. We will go to the texture paint tab and under the picture icon, select the image called face that we just saved. We will set blend mode to mix and start painting a face on the character the face we want for default. Select Erase Alpha instead of Mix to erase painting mistakes. We will select the image, then save as, go to the folder where we want to save it, and save it. We will go to the shading tab, select the folder to save the image as face hurt. We will paint this face. Again, we will go to the texture paint tab, and under the picture icon, we will select face hurt. The UVs are on top of each other, which can cause problems, so we will move them. We will add a new face and call it Face Attack. We will make this face look angry. Finally, we'll make a face for when the character dies.
Now we have the faces we want to animate. The next step is to go into Godot. I have already imported this character and made an inherited scene. If you need to learn how to do this, you can watch this video. We will create a folder called Animations. We will double click the model. For each animation, we will click the folder to save it. Select the animations folder we created, name the animation, and click Save. Then we will click Reimport. We'll create a new animation player and name it Animation Player Changed. The reason we need to do this is because we will not be able to save modified animations with the original animation player in Godot 4. We will click Animation and then Manage Animations. We will click Add Library to add a library. We'll click on the library, name it Character Animations. Click on the folder and add in our animations. We will select the face of our character, then select the drop down menu, Surface Material Override. Under Zero, we will select New Standard Material 3D. Under Transparency, we will select Alpha. Then under Texture, we can load our texture. Select Load, which got cut off in the video. We have our textures all saved in a folder under Images. Now we can change the face textures within our new animation player by adding a key in the animations for the face texture. We can swap out another face and key that face in in the appropriate place in the animation. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.